Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Kicking off with a chair. We've got these two fans I want to get rid of from yesterday. Oh, let's put that in that back. We're getting about a, I don't know, 15 minute late start today. Kids were a little lazy getting up. We ended up having a baseball game last night that was a makeup from the day before. So Thursdays are normally your night off. It was not last night. Whoo! Busy, busy schedule. But we're gonna get after today and uh, see if we can't find some junks. Fridays have uh, eluded us lately, but uh, every once in a while it pops. We're hoping, uh, ooh, hear that? That's a peacock. Let's see if we can find him. Oh my gosh, this road work here is ridiculous. Go down the manhole cover and see if there's any metals down there. Let's see if we can find that peacock. I'm gonna have to do some fancy maneuvering here. See if we can find that peacock. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's on the house. <laughs> See, I let these guys like get out of my area. Let's see if we can show you guys. See him up there on that house? It's a little peacock. There he is, right there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You're gonna be aluminum? All right, set it. <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, time to organize this. Nah, not, maybe, maybe next stop. <laughs> maybe next stop. Come here, aluminum chair. Or aluminum, aluminum chair. Look at this chair, guys. Dummy. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna have brass handles on it too. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, slide on up there. That door's actually pretty heavy for aluminum. Looky, looky, Americanos, we got ourselves a weed whacker. We're part of a weed whacker. Motorized, let's put you on this side. I this door up. Busted pop up. <laughs> it's a tripod. Oh, so I ran into Kevin. Kevin's already out here. He was in the streets that I normally start off on since I left that area and came up here. Hopefully, we'll have better luck. Oh boy, I guess it's gonna be chair day. What is this? One, two, three. Three chairs so far and a door. Oh. We're still gonna try to pack decent. But might be going home and picking up some stuff just to break stuff down, but I don't know. What are we gonna do with Friday, guys? What are we gonna do? Well, we got a TV and a table. This box right here gets me every week, man. I feel like it's gonna be a fridge or a nice big, um, let me test this one. She's dry. Um, see how that box is just huge. You're like, oh, it's gonna be something. And you're like, oh, it's two box again. Every week, man, gets me. I'm gonna hold you up like this such. There you go, the door will hold you up and keep you from getting banged around. There's nobody in here, right? Nope. Let's go. TVs and chairs, TVs and chairs. I'm gonna get me some TVs and chairs. What do you got here, Jackie? Ooh, some Christmas stuff. Oh, those are all faded. What's in the box? What you got down here, C9? Barbies. Oh, those are brats, that doesn't mean Barbies. Uh, I save these for my thrifter. Wah! 
I'm not much of deducing the value of a brat, so I'm not patient enough to look all that stuff up either. But I think you can resell that stuff. Yeah! Come on, wires. Wires, vacuums. Oh, well, this is the first vacuum. Whoa. Where'd that song come from? Yep, yep, yep. It's kibbles and bits. I just changed it a little bit. Connors, we've got ourselves our first fan of the day. I got my I Love Ceilings shirt on today. My son's like, that's got to really confuse people if they don't know what you're doing. <laughs> hey, we're fans of fans here at Nacho Stuff, so take a moment and smash that like button. Because we are fans of fans here. We get a little luck of the Irish. Come on, be brass. It's going to be steel, isn't it? They always are, aren't they? Let's get ourselves a magnifier. Better known as a magnet. Dang it. Actually, you know what it is? It's probably free. It's probably aluminum. There's steel where the screws are. I don't know. I think it's aluminum. <laughs> we'll see if she will give us brass on it. Dirty brass even. Better than aluminum. Until he scrapes it. Gives me dirty aluminum on it. That's got a lot of a lot of bolts and such on it. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. I have to ask Jeffy what he wants to do on that. It's heavy enough to be brass, but I don't know. I think those have all have steel rods that run through them. And that's where the weight's coming from. <sighs> we'll take it. It's metal. He gets me all the time. He hides this stuff. <laughs> he doesn't hide it. This is just where he puts it. So that way it's out of his driveway, but it's behind this big old tree. Every week I got to peek down here and be like, is there stuff down there? Is there not stuff down there? Wow, what a mess. Good thing we don't have too much in here. Uh, let's try the other side. That wall's higher now that we've got the, what I think is faux brass. We'll take them awkward. Oh, you steel, you're steel too. Not even heavy steel. Let's twist that a little bit. Make this really fun to unload. Come on, get down in there. Put him in there. There we go. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're trying to do. Oh, yeah. So today, on the way to take my son to school, um, some truck has dumped a whole bunch of cow manure on the road. And all the cars are driving through it. Including me. There is no way to not. So now, my truck and my trailer smell like cow manure. That's no good. All these little tiny cul-de-sacs that have like five houses in them, all have had, had stuff in the very ends. I think people are just being lazy today. They're like, I ain't going down there for that. It's just like, not that much stuff in here. Gotta take it though. A couple more chairs. TVs and chairs, TVs and chairs. I'm gonna give me some TVs and chairs. Come on, everybody sing it. I'll stay with you. The whole weekend. Yes, you too. A little bits. So we got a keyboard, a chair. Another thing we would probably never want to take, but. We don't need you, your glass. We don't need you, you are also glass. 
we taking this today, guys? <laughs> it's just so light. Ah, uh, what do you say? We'll take her. It can't hurt, right? This thing should smush pretty easily if we need to. Bring this smush down. Yeah, this is not mush. Come on, boys. Oh boy. We're scrounging. We're scrounging. I know all the dogs are mad at us. Little Troy is like, that's not how the song goes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an ancient dishwasher. Dishwasher. Yeah. Look at that. You never know it says so a countertop on it. Wow, that's old school with a lock like that. This guy's old, he's wired. Wow. I don't know that I can remember. Oh, he's on wheels. You know who had a washing machine or a, a dishwasher like this? My grandparents. They did, they had it in their, in their kitchen. They could wheel it around and it was also part of the countertop that's what this is this is old how big do you think the motors on this thing are this is from like this is like circa 1970 or maybe 80. it's not young let's see if we can find a the motors look like Weesh. Um, see, made out of metal when's the last time you've seen a dishwasher made out of metal oh look at this big old concrete in here too. that's why one of the reasons heavy the motor's not very heavy it's this big old chunk of concrete that keeps it from tipping over we'll take it <laughs> i saw kev again doesn't look like much has changed on his end oh gosh which means there's not a lot out here if there's two of us scurrying around Oy. There's another motor. Actually, this has a sidecar. A motorcycle with a sidecar. Oh. You're not going to turn with my finger, you stinker. <laughs> oh, come on, battery. Be in there. Where my there she is? Come on, let's get it, this battery. Now watch, it's going to be Phillips inside. I'll have to go back again. Uh, or not. <laughs> Somebody done beat me to it. Dang you scrappers! Got a Mercedes up on tires. Oh, someone's been in here already, haven't they? Oh, but they didn't take the battery. Sweet. And how did they get the battery out of the motorcycle but didn't take the battery out of this? What? Need wooden scrapper. Uh, let's get a regular screwdriver since I don't see my drill back here. I don't remember taking my drill inside yesterday. Dang it. Stinkers. Is it up here? What? Did I leave my drill at home? Don't leave your drill at home, man. Screwdriver, though. I did. I must have left it at home. <laughs> oh. Dogs are all upset with me today. What is over in that box? I'm so excited about this. Uh, your plastic, your plastic. Gas tank's not though. Ah, uh, there's that peacock again. I heard him earlier. I said, I wonder if we'll see him. I'm taking that. This is metal, right? Yeah, you're metal. Oh, those are all just boxes. Heat boxes. All right, these two are coming. Gas, a fuel tank. That's an old fuel tank, man. It's like army edition. And a battery. You can stay back there. I know, refrigerator trays are still back there. And I wonder why they never sell. I actually had someone say to me the other day, they were back at a video like, 
I don't know, 100 years ago maybe, and said, what did you do with that pink bra? Remember when I found that pink bra? Like, I don't know, probably eight months ago. And I'm like, yeah, it's still in the office, haven't listed it yet. So uh, if you don't list stuff, they can't sell. Just so you guys know. Onward. Dude, that hanging out like laundry would be the best stop of the day. So I pulled over to answer some texts and um, do some different things like that with my phone because I don't use it when I'm driving. And some guy stopped and said, hey, I've got these garage door panels. Do you want them? I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. He's like, I saw you sitting there and said, if he's still there when I come back around, I'm going to give them to him. So not only did he give me these garage doors, but he's a garage door guy. And he said, I'll give you a holler when I've got more. That's when some laziness actually pays off. Or I should say safety versus laziness, right? All right, strap back down. Let's go. Fell off the beaten path now. I know we're headed we're headed back towards uh headed back towards the yard we're gonna probably miss lunch so we're gonna swing by the house probably and grab some things that we can break down just so we don't have very much in here we're gonna try to make productive use of our time so i think i want to get some uh tops to old air conditioners maybe some squirrel cages or something something to break down while the lunch is going on but uh, hopefully we find a couple more stops before we get through here. Onward. Oh my life. <laughs> We've got the garage doors here, the dishwasher there. How are we gonna do this, bros? Let's go. You're gonna have to go over, you're gonna have to go up. Hmm. We might fast forward this, I don't know. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with this. I'll keep you guys in for a little bit at least. We'll chip chop something here. Chip chop shop. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Well, we might not be shopping at the house now. Kind of how things go. We'll come off of here, bro. You can live right there. Can I get those up? Yeah, if I push these up, like such
yard we got a little uh peninsula here to get into the shred pile it'd be interesting to see this is like five six foot of dirt they just need to pull the stuff back fill that in good to go oh and i also just so you know i've decided that i just need to start sitting around on the side of the road in uh T telling people to put a sign up that says ask me about my scrap because I was sitting there and there was that guy he came by he gave me these garage doors and so I stopped for a sandwich because it's lunchtime and when I was at the gas station a guy came up and he says what are you doing with those garage doors and I said I'm scrapping them he's like you want to sell them I'm like sure I'd love to what do you want to pay me for them I said I think that I'll get uh, roughly you know, five to 10 bucks for it at the scrap yard. He's like, how about 20 bucks? <clears throat> so he's gonna buy those from me. I'm gonna bring them to him at his shop. He's over by my washing guy. So I'm gonna keep those. He's gonna give me $20 for them. And I don't know that, I don't know that they're a hundred pounds. So even at a hundred pounds, it'd be closer to $5 versus $10, but. You gotta hedge your bets sometimes. So, something that I wasn't expecting to get, I got, and then I doubled my money off of it. How awesome is that? <laughs> the other thing too is the scale just seems off. I don't know what I got in here that's so heavy. It was a bigger number than I was expecting. He may take the motor off of that, probably not though. But let's get the core before I forget. We'll have to see how long it takes us to uh, get things going here. I'm ready to kick off the weekend. It's been a long week. My wife said, I think we don't have baseball this weekend though. No games, which is pretty amazing. Oh, that's just a little baby baby wire. Need to smash the motors off of that too. Ah, oh, because we got to the yard after lunch really didn't get a chance to break down the stuff we wanted to break down we didn't pick up anything new from the house this is all just from running because by the time that i got this honking refrigerator on there i got myself some lunch it's time to get here these doors are gonna be a pain in the butt to leave there and work around them but you just do what you got to do I know we're just going to keep clipping wire. See how much monies we can make today. You're a motor. We're keeping you. I'm going to open up a milk store, I think. I got enough milk crates now. I can open my own milk store. Matt's milk. star I got a light. I, I thought I had I thought I had two lights we do we do we're just in different places still trying to figure out what's this garage doors better not be that heavy <laughs> I'm gonna give them away for a better price than I thought. They didn't feel that heavy when I was moving them. You like giving that stuff away. We'll find out when we tear. I don't think the back has changed much, so I can kind of probably figure out what I had in there. Oh, this place is a mess. A mess, I tell ya. Yard's looking great though, man. They, they had the pile all big yesterday. Now they got everything all cubed up. They're not loading the trucks today, as Jill said. I did try that TV. Nada. Zip zilch zero. Not a worker. Yeah, 
we're just gonna kind of uh, work around these doors, I guess. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. out what fun would that be though you guys couldn't see me struggle what's weird stuff in here don't take my faux brass Maybe he threw more springs in here than I thought he did. They're heavy though, I'll tell you that. All right, wand release, it's got a screw. I got a question for you guys. You guys are on a very similar demographic as myself. How many of you TikTok? Heard all the rave about TikTok lately. I'm trying to figure it out. I just don't get it. I think I'm too old. Tell me if you TikTok or not and what you think of it. I'd love to know. Us old farts, do we use TikTok? I haven't until I so opportunities that are available and said, hey, maybe we should give this a whirl. Can't figure it out though. It's even harder than YouTube, I think. Wait for that thing to fall on me. <laughs> check this guy out see if we're gonna break it apart or not might be advantageous to leave a hole truck race at the track. I can't believe they're not driving yet. I saw all kind of fancy trucks coming in, driving down like crazy awesome lifted trucks and fanciness. And... It won't come off on the street, but it'll come off here.
home with the scrap today. I wish I had some more hair to put on here and give it to Jeff. <laughs> wish I had a wig in the back. Give me a hard time about that wig or the hair last time. All right, you go up there by the battery. Oh, you go to a fan, you're not even gonna cut yet. Yeah, I know you're trying to get me, brother. You can't get me. Ah. All right, I gotta get the bottom off this. That's gonna be aluminum. This can go. This can go. And then we just gotta get our bits get the bottom off that chair check out that door get the motors off of there we're ready to rock and roll we'll catch you guys over at jeffrey's let's do some nfj the boy hiding phil came to the yard i saw phil at the yard yesterday he's uh Got himself all taken care of with his kidney stones. But he uh, had a safari hat that he put on the Minion. Remember when the Minions, the Minion movie, where they had little safari hats? It's perfect, right? <laughs> Uh-oh, another new guy. Another new guy, huh? You get rid of the other one already? <laughs> wow, what is that from? Some type of, uh, some type of big like a drill? Yeah. For wells or something, probably? Yeah. That is chunky. It's like 40. There was 379 bucks between that. Those four and one of them that's got a rubber edge that I tried to shear off. I, I, I couldn't. Wow. Yeah. And he said that the company just throws them in the garbage. Where's he work? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you should but ask for his address. He said that uh, they're not allowed to give it to him, but his boss said that they're in the garbage, then he could have them. And he said for years, he, made, he didn't even think about scrapping them. And then his friend who comes here was like, go, oh, no, you need to scrap those. Yeah. Next time he comes, ask him what the address is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll split it with you. <laughs> what? Is that a garage door? Yeah. Uh, so listen, I was sitting there. Um, it's it's steel. It's, you don't gotta check it. It's steel. So um, I was sitting on the side of the road. I was checking uh, text and Is that the nine? Yeah, the my new nine. one. Yeah, because I noticed on the front it showed me. Yeah, because it's got the thing on the front now, and it doesn't have it doesn't have require a case. My other one required a case. Yeah. I've been doing it for a couple. This week I've used it. But so I was sitting there checking my texts, checking my emails, and this guy pulls up and he's like, "Hey, you want these?" I'm like, "Yeah, I love those." So he gave me these and he gave me a garage door opener. Okay. Um, and then I went to Wawa and stopped and got a sandwich for lunch. I love that place. And. Guy pulls up to me, he's like, what are you doing with those garage doors? I said, I'm scrapping them. He's like, I'd like these to use these for this, that, the other thing. He's like, I'm like, you want to buy them? He's like, yeah, what do you want for them? I said, I don't know. What do you think's fair? 10 bucks a piece. I said, I said, I'm going to get at least $10 in scrap off this. He's like, how about I give you 20 for it? Okay. I'm like, done. So he's going to, he's so buying you have his. to deliver it. Yeah, but he's right in Waterford. Okay. He's right, he's essentially on the way home. So. 
I think this. Yeah, I know. I figured as much. Did you see that load of? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, it, I went like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's more than it's yeah. it's like it's moist and yeah. sticky, oh, and it car, smells. My, my car smells <laughs> it's all underneath. <laughs> I drove past this morning with my son, and then to take you go to the school, and you could smell it, and like, oh, that's horrible. And then when I went down to leave, I had to drive through it. And it's like all over the tires, all in the wheel wells. I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, it stinks now, huh? yeah. Did you slide? No, no, I'm big enough that I didn't yeah, slide. But I, it, you could smell it. It was like moist. It's like. I was going like <laughs> five miles an hour. My car just, just goes. <laughs> and then my traction light it came on. I'm like, what the? so nasty, man. Oh, yeah. okay. it, there's no truck there. What is that? $8, yeah. I, I don't know if it's a reproduction. This should have a date on it. But I mean, it looks like older. It's got a number. It's authentic. It's authentic, yeah. It should have a number. We should have a date. The, the fact that it's got printing on the back makes me feel it's not that old. I think it's probably from like the 90s, you know. Maybe the 80s just because of the font, you know? Yeah. Like it's definitely beyond 1922. It's the 75th <laughs> anniversary, so... And it's like 1902, I think. So then this is from the 70s. This is from what, late 70s. Probably right around my birthday. Oh, I saw this guy on the way here. Uh, I saw this guy on the way here. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's a nice aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> like that's some nice aluminum. What about uh, sweet eater? Uh, what brand is it? Wyoming? No, I can go. Yeah, I, I was, I, I, I was contemplating whether. Uh, the I, other I, thing too each, is each one of these has got a rod that goes through. Yeah, I know. And it's just a pain. If you get one that is stripped, yeah, no, it, and it the whole process. I still got one in the backyard. I'm not messing with so it. So you're gonna save it? No. Oh, it's going? No, it's going. Going. It's going. 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 Gone. That should be a good. That's a good name for a video. Going. Going. Gone. Going. Going. Gone. Maybe we'll use that today. Going. Going. Gone. I gotta find a thumbnail. Okay. Pretty cool. Just need a scrapyard fire or something else like that, and you'll have to be tap in business. Uh, we're gonna check that one. We'll just keep this running out now. Give Jeffy that huge battery. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> He's gonna hack it half. You want to hack this one too or no? Just that one. <laughs> Do you want to hack this one or just put it in the bin? Oh, they're going to put it over here. Clean brass. Wow, this is heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Woo hoo! Save that for later. Clean brass. I'll give him some free, some free shred. Get the trailer cleaned up for the weekend. Christmas wire. I think I make up for it. <laughs> and, 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 and working hard for me? And working hard for me? 
That was very awkward. Yeah, these are pretty awkward. Sorry, I had like 30, 44 pounds. You weren't counting those pieces, Jeffy. Huh? Oh, I didn't even look. I don't think it's that big. Oh, 24. Wow. Yeah. Clean. Dirty. Heavy. Ugh. Huh? Yeah, you know, I'm sorry I didn't have any hair with that, but I looked. I was hoping I had a wig in the back. Hang on, got a little bit more in there, Jeffy. And a whole battery. <laughs> I mean, that brass helped a lot. Yeah. Woo wee! Quarter battery. Dad, how much should I sell my dead batteries for? Five dollars. How about? Free of charge. Free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are all dad. These are like dad jokes, as in a kid questioning their dad. I didn't realize that until just now. Man, I'm dense. <laughs> dad, what position should I apply for? All of them. Sitting is my favorite. How do you get a squirrel's attention? A school's attention? Squirrel. Squirrels. Uh, don't know. Act like a nut. Act like a nut. Did you know that there's no no world in the... I, I know, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Did you know there's no world in the English language that rhymes with silver? No world? Or a country, probably. World. Word, maybe. World is what you said. And then what's, what's the answer? That's all that she put. Oh. What, what kind of help do you need after punching your computer? Health? What kind of help? Help punching your computer. I don't know. Tech knuckle support. Tech knuckle support. Why should you avoid drinking water while studying chemistry? Water while studying chemistry. Uh, Cause you turn into a gremlin? You don't want to decrease your concentration. Decrease your concentration. Alrighty guys, we're waiting paid. I was trying to catch the, the cat uh, purring. Uh, if I catch it, I'm gonna put it in right here. Come here, big boy. <laughs> because he sounds like a pigeon. Um, and you, you can't pick up the camera, so I put the camera right on him. So we'll see if I caught it. If it did, you, there was a clip in there. If not, it's just too funny. I think it's I think it's pretty darn cute. What a shocking day! Holy Toledo! Thank you, brass bed. Wow. So it ended up being brass. Uh, I could have cleaned it up and maybe got a little uh, clean brass, but honestly, I've done them before, and the steel on the inside um, ends up being. Uh, a, a decent amount of weight. So you might get paid more for clean, but you lose a lot of volume or weight by getting rid of the steel. I think it's better to turn it in dirty, personally. I know how long it takes. Uh, there's a lot of screws, they tend to strip. Um, so I've, I've just been turning them in dirty. Uh, Jeff did clip it to fit it into his bin. And so I got a couple pieces of clean from that. It was surprisingly heavy when, it, when it, you get it just by itself. I, I don't know, maybe I was just strong this morning. But anywho, let's dive into the receipt and see how I did today. What is, I'm still blown away, man. Uh, when I saw the tear, I was like, what is going on? I don't have that. I didn't think I had that much in there. Uh, I think the garage door springs made up a decent amount of weight. Um, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, tin. 
a thousand pounds. We did more today than we did yesterday. Um, now, given the refrigerator we found today had all the kit and caboodles in it last year, it was or last year, yesterday it was like a, just a shell, uh, and they had stripped out the doors and everything. So maybe I don't know. That's crazy. Um, and then uh, unclean brass, forty pounds that uh, set weighed a dollar a pound for forty bucks. Sealed unit uh, out of the refrigerator, 24 pounds, which was also heavier than I expected. 20 pounds or 20 cents a pound, 24 pounds for 480. Irony heavy, zero dollars <laughs> for zero dollars. I don't know why that's in, that line's in there. He must have forgot to put it in and had uh, added the line in later. Uh, clean aluminum, two pounds. Uh, I don't even remember what that was. Uh, two pounds, 40 cents a pound for 80 cents. Irony light. Uh, it must have been something Jeffy. Jeffy was grabbing some things, so uh, four pounds, not a lot either. Uh, 28 cents a pound for 112. Irony heavy. So that was the heavy that he had in there originally. That was the door, and what else did he count as heavy? There was one other thing we threw in there. Oh, the weed whacker. 52 pounds, 18 cents a pound for 936. We had uh, hairless uh, Christmas tree lights. One pound, 26 cents for 26 cents. And then we had the little baby battery, $1.25 for $1.25 for a grand total today of 117.59. What? We crushed our number on Friday. I would have never have thought that, especially. We didn't really, I didn't feel like we had that much, but man, that brass made the day. We had more weight than I expected. Win, 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 win. Um, we just didn't have any pickers, but uh, we haven't had them this week. I'm hoping the nice weather. I saw, uh, when I was driving around this week, I saw a handful of neighborhoods are having community garage sales this weekend. And I think there's going to be a large participation because the weather has been gorgeous and it's going to be gorgeous through the weekend. Um, so I'm hoping next week uh, might be very fruitful because uh, basically generally what happens is people have the garage sales and then when they're, whatever doesn't sell, they traditionally, I would hope, would donate, but they generally just throw it away. So I think that we're going to have some nice piles next week. Or fingers crossed that's what happens. So uh, if you haven't smashed that thumbs up yet, please do so on your way out the door. It's nacho stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So have a wonderful weekend. I'm sorry for all you guys that are dealing with the snow. I can't complain about my weather. If anything, uh, the afternoons are going to get a little bit warm. It's really nice and cool and beautiful uh, in the mornings and in the evenings. Um, but mid-afternoon, it's, it's almost a little too hot for this time of the year. But hey, it's better than snow. And I'm sorry, um, just come down to Florida for spring break. That's all I can say. So uh, enjoy your weekend. Be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all next week.